she is an incredible cultural ambassador. Cha is the best cultural ambassador. It represents so much about China. I'm called Sang Guo. I'm from the University of Fengchang Tianpu University Law School President. My hobby is Chinese culture. I've been studying Chinese for about 30 years. I've been in China for about 10 years. I've been to China and the United States. 上过一些茶叶培训班也是在美国和中国拿到了茶文化的审评员的资格证。I started studying Chinese when I was a first-year student in college, and、uh, in 1988, and then in 1991, when I was a junior in college,、uh, I went to Nanjing University to study abroad. I used to drink coffee, and I drank coffee all day, every day,、uh, and then when I went to China. This was a period of time in China before coffee was very popular.、Uh, this was the time when, in China, everybody drank the packets of instant coffee, su rong cafe, and that's all that was available. And that's what I drank when I was in China. And one day I was just traveling in China, and I was among these beautiful tea fields, but carrying my own instant coffee. And I said, "That's wrong. Why am I drinking bad coffee?" Quality coffee when I have the best tea in the world here. So little by little, I started to discover tea, and tea to me was not just a beverage. The beauty of it is that tea is also a culture. It represents so much about China, but it also represents a lot about health and well-being, and it's very suitable to bring into an educational environment. And I found that being a teacher. And being an enthusiast for culture,、um, I found that tea just fit so many different areas of life: for physical well-being, for mental well-being, for education, for cultural understanding, and for reducing distance. That it just became a passion of mine. One thing about tea is that it's very equalizing. Everywhere I've gone in China, where I've drank tea, I've been with different kinds of people. And whoever is sitting around the table, it doesn't matter where they're from, what their backgrounds are, what their economic circumstances are. Everybody is the same when we drink tea, and there's something very disarming about tea. I have found that when I've been at meetings in China,、uh, very often the first thing that happens before we discuss anything is somebody serves tea, and again, that's a way of reducing distance. So one of the things I've done here at Temple Law School is I created a tea club. And you could say I have all my tea objects here. And once a week, we get together in a safe space, and I brew tea for our students. Tea promotes friendship, unity, and collaboration. I created the Gong Zhong Hao as a means to promote professional development, foreign language study, and tea culture together. Because I would like to be able to sow into younger generations to help them be able to bring tea. Professional development and foreign language study into their own lives in a way to be able to better become better versions of themselves. And so, 我只想给下一代传递一些正能量 So good. <laughs>